Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jazzy Vaughn. I mainly focus on beauty, fashion, and lifestyle content, and I have a particular interest in luxury and sustainable brands. So if that is something that is of interest to you, please consider subscribing to my channel. I know that it has been a very, very long time since I have been on YouTube. I took a little break <laughs> um, from YouTube to kind of get myself together and to kind of really think deeply about how I wanted to show up on this platform. So I took some time away, but I am back. I am back. I am back. I'm going to be consistent. I am going to be giving y'all the content that you want from me. I'm very, very, very happy to be back here. So I thought it would be really, really cool to do a series of videos where I give my top six tips or top six recommendations or yeah, you know, just a, a video where I give the top six of whatever category or whatever topic I'm talking about. I thought it would be a really cute idea, a really fun idea to do that. So. This is going to be part one of a series of videos. I'm going to call it the sixth series. This video is going to be focused on six black owned companies or black owned brands that you should support for Black History Month and year round for that matter. So if you're interested in seeing that, just keep watching. I will be putting the links to everything that I mentioned in the description box below. So you can, you know, check these links out and purchase things at your leisure. Of course I got y'all. You know I got y'all. So brand number one that I wanted to highlight is Hanifa. I am currently wearing the Maya Knit cardigan dress from Hanifa. And I have, I believe, three pieces. Yes, three pieces from Hanifa. The other pieces that I bought are going to be included in a collective luxury haul that I'm also filming and so be on the lookout for that. I love Hanifa because Hanifa just knows how to dress a woman's body and how to accentuate the natural curves and the natural beauty of a woman's body. Hanifa, the brand, also uses beautiful, beautiful, beautiful colors, beautiful fabrics, interesting silhouettes, interesting cuts. And so it's one of my uh, favorite up and coming contemporary brands. And I thought it'd be a great idea to feature uh, the brand in this video. These are definitely show stopping designs. Like I guarantee you, if you wear something from Hanifa Co, you're gonna get a million compliments every time you walk out of the door. The second brand that I wanted to feature is Ami Cole. I love this makeup brand. This makeup brand was founded by a Senegalese woman and I believe she grew up in Harlem. The brand just knows how to accentuate melanated skin and make us glow and make us radiant without covering up our skin too much. So it's very um, your skin but better type of makeup. I love the skin enhancing tint. I'm currently wearing it for this makeup look. And I also love the lip treatment oil. The lip treatment oil is one of the best lip glosses that I tried in 2021. And if I have to choose products from the line that you definitely should get, it's going to be the skin enhancing tint and the lip treatment oil just because those are the two products that I reach for every single time or a lot of the times when I'm doing a makeup look. They actually just released a concealer that I'm really excited to try. I'm always in the market for a great concealer that doesn't crack under my eyes. Really looking forward to purchasing that um, concealer or receiving it in PR. I really hope that I receive it in PR so you know I have to spend my own money. But you know, a girl can only dream. But if I don't get it in PR, I definitely will be purchasing the concealer. The third brand that I wanted to highlight is Hyper Skin. And if you are a melanated individual, you know that a lot of us struggle with hyperpigmentation. Hyperpigmentation is basically when your skin, skin cells overproduce melanin and it basically makes your face darker in some areas and lighter in some areas. 
So I do struggle with hyperpigmentation on my face and so I like to use products that have skin brightening ingredients that will even out the color of my skin. I am not looking to bleach my skin. I don't bleach my skin. I'm looking to more even out my skin so that it looks like it's the same color all over instead of being dark in some areas and lighter in some areas. Hyper Skin is a really good brand for that. I use faithfully this brightening clearing vitamin C serum. It's sometimes hard to say skincare products because they use a lot of words and it's kind of a tongue twister. But essentially this is a serum that you can use day and night um, and it has skin brightening ingredients like vitamin C and kojic acid which are really going to help to combat the hyperpigmentation in your skin. This product is a little pricey I will say but it actually does work. I really do enjoy this serum. I typically will use it in the morning. When you are using vitamin C serums, it is very, 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 or vitamin C products in general, it is very important for you to wear sunscreen every single morning when you are using vitamin C products because you do not want to reverse all of the work that the vitamin C is doing to brighten and even your skin. You don't want to reverse it by getting sun damage. So make sure you are always wearing sunscreen when you use vitamin C products. All right, y'all. So the fourth brand that I wanted to highlight is another beauty brand. It is called LYS Beauty, and I have quite a few products from LYS Beauty, actually. Actually, I have the triple fix serum foundation I have the uh, setting powder I have their cream blushes and I also have the bronzer which I can't find I don't know where I put it LYS beauty is actually the first black owned clean beauty brand that was sold at Sephora now there are a bunch of other black owned clean beauty brands at Sephora but this one was the first it was founded by, I believe her name is Tisha Thompson. She was really high up or an executive in the beauty industry. And so she basically, you know, decided to start her own beauty brand. I love the cream blushes. If there was a product that I think that you should buy, it's definitely going to be the cream blushes. I actually use the cream blush today for this makeup look. It is this beautiful corally orange color. Um, this is in the shade called Inspire. I would actually recommend using this more so in the spring or summer when people are wearing, you know, brighter makeup. But because I wanted to make sure that I was wearing as many of the brands as possible, I just used this, you know, blush um, today. And then I also went ahead and put a little bit of brown blush from my Juvia's Place uh saharan blush volume 2 palette on top to kind of make it not look as bright orange i also like the foundation the foundation if you have dry or normal skin i think you would like the foundation a lot if you have oily skin you might want to make sure you have a very 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 mattifying primer and that you powder your face maybe before or definitely after you apply your um this foundation mainly because this foundation is very hydrating and it's very radiant and so it can make you look you know oily or too oily or too shiny if you aren't careful if you have oily skin by nature products are uh basically really affordable too like this this cream blush i believe runs for 16 dollars, and you don't need a lot a little goes a long way you will have these products for a very long time so definitely go ahead and support lis beauty the next brand that i'm gonna highlight is carlton gato and y'all know that i'm a fashion girl and if you follow me on instagram which you should do right now <laughs> Um, you will know that I my style is basically classic with a twist or edgy classic meaning that I love to balance classic silhouettes and classic pieces with very edgy or unique accessories or unique shoes or unique you know cut or unique like silhouette and I like to balance that with classic pieces just to add a little interest or you know something unique to a look and so when I saw this bag I knew that I had to get it 
This is the uh, knot bag and it's in a bandana print and I just thought it was, you know, so cool and really unique and I was like, okay, I need that in my collection. I got it in the tan color, but it also comes in all kinds of colors, red, green, yellow, purple, blue, pink, you name it. it comes in all kinds of colors. And the bag also comes in other prints as well. I've seen them um, have like painting type you know look they have that I think they just released one for Lunar New Year so it has more of a like a brocade type look their pieces are very very interesting they're handmade which I really really appreciate I am a lover of handmade crafted pieces because you can tell that there's love and care that is taken when it comes to creating the pieces and so I'm a really big fan of handmade goods and I just thought that this bag was really unique you basically this is how it looks if it's not knotted this is what it looks like I'm pretty sure you could probably wear it like that but I don't and you basically slip the handle through and turn it into a knot so definitely check out this brand, Carlton Yeda. The last brand, I don't even have anything to show you because I'm actually wearing it. Um, the last brand that I wanted to highlight is Hair Intelligence. Hair Intelligence does wigs, but better. Hair Intelligence is a, a fully black owned and black run business. It is a hair company and they make customized wigs but the way that they make customized wigs is what's so unique and innovative about the company so they use ai technology to find out what size wig you need and what color your lace should be all you have to do in order to make sure that your wig is properly customized is you send them photos within their app and they basically use the information the AI technology, they use that information to basically determine what color your lace should be and what size your cap should be in your wig. And so you're getting a fully customized unit at your doorstep. When I say fully customized, I really do mean fully customized. The lace was tinted, the knots were bleached, the lace was plucked in the front, I wanted layers cut into my wig and so they cut layers into the wig and they even cut the lace for you so you don't even have to you know worry about cutting the hair off accidentally or making sure the edges are jagged enough so it doesn't look like you're wearing a wig everything is already done for you all you have to do is install the wig and even more I'm not a hair girl per se but I was able to install this wig either glueless you can wear it glueless so you don't even have to install it with glue or with got to be or whatever holding you know agent you want to use i did use got to be spray today because i wanted to make sure that i my wig wasn't slipping off i'm doing a long day of filming so i really wanted to make sure that my wig wasn't slipping off my head during these videos and even i was able to you know install this wig i will be doing a full you know review of this unit so i can tell y'all all about the experience that i had they are doing really 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 innovative things in the black hair space and i think it's really important to support black owned brands especially when it comes to hair i don't care what anybody says but hair is already politicized and it's important to me to support black owned brands who know our hair who know what it's like to be a black woman and who knows what it's like to have to do your hair as a black woman and what it's like to navigate the world as a black woman is really important for me to try to support black owned brands in the hair space specifically. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments if these are any brands that you have supported in the past or if these are brands that are new to you and what you're excited to try from these brands. Also, let me know in the comments if there are any other black owned brands that I didn't mention in this video that you would, you know, encourage other people to support. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a huge thumbs up. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.